Bonjour, I'm Jerry Metz of PronouncingFrench.com and this is lesson four in our series French pronunciation tips and tricks. And today we're going to take another look at the mute E. Now in our last lesson we saw that usually the mute E are these little words like te, je, ce, que, ne, de, le, and all of those. But amazingly it is hiding out in a lot of other French words and here we see a few examples of those. In the word monsieur, for example, that first sound is a mute e, e, and I put the symbol, the, inter, the international phonetic alphabet symbol there, so that you can see it's monsieur. And in the root of the verb faire, we actually have a mute e. We have je faisais and nous faisons. You'd never know it from the spelling, but those are actually mute e's. Now, in the last lesson, we saw that there are certain combinations of little mute e's uh, in little um, one-syllable words that always are going to get pronounced like that. And we saw that je, te, and ce, que are always going to be pronounced ste and ske. But there are a few others in that series. So that when you have a je and a ne together, it's always going to be pronounced je. And when you have a de, ne, it's always going to be dun and sun. And they're always going to be like that. So, for example, here we have je ne sais pas. Here we have je ne, je ne sais pas. And here we have ce, ce ne sont pas, ce ne sont pas mes idées. And here we have uh, a sentence with a whole lot of muties. So let's take a look. Well, we have je te, and we've already known now that we're supposed to pronounce that one je te. And here we have a mute e, but we can drop it. Why? Because there's only one consonant in front of it. Remember, in the previous lesson, we learned that if there are two consonants in front of a mute e, you have to keep it. But if there's only one, you can drop it. So here there's only one consonant, so you can drop that one. And we have Stuttmond. Now, the de ne we saw is one of those fixed forms that are always going to say like, be, be said like that. So we have de ne. But here we have another mute e, and we can drop this one because there's only one pronounced consonant in front of it. So at the end, we come up with Je te demande de ne pas le faire. Je te demande de ne pas le faire. Now, if you were going to say every one of those mute e's, you would have Je te demande de ne pas le faire. You would have nine syllables. But now, with dropping them, you have Je te demande de ne pas le faire, only five. That could be pretty hard to figure out on your own. It would be a lot better to have a good teacher. Now, even though my video course was originally designed for more advanced students of French, even beginners can profit a lot from it. It's a good idea to start right out from the beginning with good pronunciation. In fact, anyone who wants to sound more authentic in French can benefit from my course. And there is lifetime access, so you can use it now or anytime in the future. I'd like to share a comment that one of my students wrote to me. Quote, I really wish years ago, when I had first started learning French, that they would have focused more on pronunciation at the beginning. So I invite you to go on over to my website, pronouncingfrench.com, take a look around. There are some interesting blogs, more feedback from students. And remember, all who take my course get to join me free of charge for group tutoring sessions on Zoom. Merci et à la prochaine.